Good morning, welcome to Car Rides with Connor. We are just pulling out of the driveway. The time is now 6.45. Mm. Notable. Mm. Talked to your boss line yesterday. Yes. And first of all, she just, of course, loves you. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Anybody. Well, but, um, very dependable. You kind of are. Yeah. Well, except for your undependable ride. Right. Before we go any further, walker patrol on it. Okay, um, I'll check to see if there are any walkers. No, looks clear. It's just very dark this morning as we leave before seven. And with summer passing and the autumn weather coming, soon it will be harvest time. Farmers all over the country will be picking their pumpkins, their squashes, and their apples. Well, the fruit roots of autumn and the flavors of autumn are apple, cinnamon, and pumpkin. Um, we'll get back to the Lynn thing in a second, but right. Anna texted me yesterday and said there's this new drink at Starbucks called the pumpkin cream pumpkin latte. Cream latte? I don't know. It sound sounds divine and quite frankly, okay, no one's even at the bus stop. Not a soul to wave at. Excellent. Um <laughs> And she said it basically tastes like fall in a cup. Hmm. Has me morally intrigued. Hmm. Back to Lynn, your boss. I may have or may have not mentioned our channel to her. Hmm. So I guess she'll be watching. One problem. Yeah. She may catch on what time you actually get to work. Oh dear. I realized the error of my ways once it came out of my mouth. Great. Actually, I gave her a heads up on it. She seemed okay. Oh, already then? I think all's well's in well. What do you think? Yeah. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I got a story for you that's actually. And, and I'm, if this is a real story. I am not making this up. It, it freaked me out. And I just, I need somebody to check on this, whether it be you or one of our fact checkers. I don't know. So yesterday I have a customer who comes in. She's like, I want to come in, look at some countertops. I'm like, sure. She goes, however, I've got to bring my dog to the vet, blah, blah, blah. It's like, well, you know what? We're, we're, we're kid and pet friendly. Come on, bring, bring the dog. It's all good. Bring your dog. So, well, you know, so I, cause I wanted her to come in and I figured she could just come in on the way to the vet. Mm -hmm. She brings this dog. Connor, I swear to God, it looks just like a standard poodle. Do you know what that, you know, um, you know what that looks like, right? Yeah. That dog in our neighborhood, Charlie Brown. Yeah. There's not a feature on this dog that doesn't look exactly like a standard poodle. Everything about it. It's a one to look at it. It was 100% poodle. But its hair was wiry and wacky and and just odd because poodles that's have a, that's that that's a com that's common poodle hair, mom. No, 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 no. Poodles have curls. Have you ever pet a poodle? No. I've pet a poodle. My friend, when I was a kid, named Lynn. She had a poodle named Pepsi, huh. and it was a black poodle. And his hair was, while it was very curly, was soft and silky, but curly. What? This dog. Its hair was wiry. I dare straight, like straight. Hmm. Huh. Okay. So like a I, sheep. No. So I actually thought to my in my head that looks like Irish Wolfhound hair. Have you ever seen an Irish Wolfhound? Uh, yeah, I think I have. Okay, they have very wiry, not cute hair. Just no offense, but they're not cute. Long story short, this poodle comes in with this wacky hair. Looks like a poodle, talks like a poodle, whatever. So we're walking and I was like, oh, and I happen to mention, I don't know how we got on the topic of the dog's hair, but the curiosity was absolutely killing me. It was almost distracting me from my job. So she says, this is where the story takes a weird turn and gets weird. Mm -hmm. The dog's been bit by an Irish wolfhound. So I laugh because I think it's a joke. Because I thought she was making 
a joke about his hair, right? Because if you'd seen this dog, we would all agree it looks like a poodle with Irish wolfhound hair. <laughs> Wait. You think this dog get, has lycanthropy? Pause that thought because I start to giggle thinking, ha ha ha, it's been bit by an Irish wolfhound. <laughs> thinking it's really part Irish wolfhound because no, seriously, this is where the story gets weird. The dog was bit, no lie, by an Irish wolfhound. She said when it was a puppy, it was beautiful, beautiful poodle hair. It was bit by an Irish wolfhound named Rocky. And this dog got a, an infection. It, the, the Irish wolfhound broke its skin on its back. The dog then got some wacky infection. This is not, I am not making this up. The dog's hair like fell off or started to fall off. And when it grew back, it true story grew back like that. Quite frankly, I think there's something to your werewolf stuff. <laughs> and I almost, so I was trying to tell Tony and Jack the story last night. They literally thought I was lying. So I'm kicking myself four ways to Sunday that I did not take a picture of this dog. We have another tailgater. It, and I don't really know. I just wish someone would believe me other than the lady who told me the story. In I believe it. Thank you. What? The dog bit it. It got an infection. And now it has wolfhound hair. And I really wish I was joking. Hashtag monsters exist. I'm not hashtagging that. I just thought it was weird. Never seen anything like that in my life. So anyway, that was what I really did want to share that with you. Monsters exist. Somebody better call the Witcher. Number one, when you're in trouble, everyone knows you call Ghostbusters. That's for ghosts, Mom. Not Monsters, me. on the other nope. hand, are different. I, ways. whenever I'm in trouble, that's who I call. Because when people ask me, who am I going to call? Ghostbusters. Right. Anyway, I didn't mean to steal the show this morning, but I did feel like that was super important to share. How was your day yesterday? It was pretty good. You're very distracted this morning by that paint deck. Yeah, it's very mesmerizing. I have a Sharon Williams paint deck. Why don't you just show people so they know what it is you're actually yeah, fooling uh, around with? That's a paint deck. So you can pick paint colors. I like to help people pick out their paint when they're doing their stuff. So anyway, why don't you put that down? Because it's really distracting you. Unless you plan on painting something. Right. Okay. All right. support or the whole lycanthropy thing what was that again that was like uh when you get bit by a wolf or something like part of where well, it, it could also be a mental illness you start having these oh that's right we talked about or that. behaving like an animal so think about that though breed was an irish wolf hound something to stew about today kind of makes me think Think about Transylvania, which, fun fact, Transylvania actually is a very real place, and it's in Romania. And, well, it played a crucial role in the Crusades during the 1400s. I just know it because of uh, Dracula. Does he live there? He did. Vladislaus Draculia Tepish III also known as Vlad the Impaler. God bless you. Do you need a tissue? No, was that was, that? that's his full name. I thought you sneezed. Anyway. What's his name? Vlad Dracul. Well, well for, but his full name is Vladislaus Draculia Tepes the Third. How do you end up with the name Dracula? I get the Dracula. Vlad Dracul. He was also known as Vlad Dracul. Me, 
So why did they call him Dracula? Why didn't they just call him Tepes? Tepish. Ish. Because eh. it's not as cool. Dracula sounds so his people badass and scary. Someone, and fun fact. you tell me Tepish is coming to bite my neck, I'm like, whatever, I can take Tepish. You tell me Dracula's coming and I'm getting my cross of garlic. Vlad Dra Yes. Yes. He was also known as Vlad the Impaler. In fact, Dracul... The Impaler because he bit people? No, because... Well, see... Well, he speared the, them and mounted their... Mounted not their heads, but their whole bodies on spears. Pikes. Oh, they left that fact out. He's, most most of the people he, is he real? He was. So he was just a crazy murderer back in. He was a, what a wild bus in the 1460s. He's, so he was just a. He was a member. A mentally ill mass murderer. Is basically a, what he was. And he actually did drink blood. Okay, but then it got probably sensationalized. Let's say. Well, he didn't turn to into legend. a bat and fly away. Well, <laughs> according to legend, well, according to legend, Vlad's its most gruesome kills didn't happen until after he died. Oh, listen, that's complete hooey. You, you, you know some dark stuff, man. I'm into some dark stuff. Better not say that like that. You are not. You're actually one of the nicest humans again that I've hey, ever met. Hey, to understand, and in the dark world, one must first familiarize themselves. Will you stay in the light the world, of the please? Dark. We have pulled in the parking lot, and I would like the time stamped. Six fifty-six. Excellent. What are your thoughts? Pretty good. Let's check the. Can I get out? Boop boop. Yep. Yeah. Anyway. That sucks. Oh, sorry. All right. All right. All right. All right. Wait, no, sit this way. Boop! Make it explode. Ba la la la. Oh, whatever. That was. The, that was from we, Big Hero 6. We gotta shine that up. That sucked. Yeah. Oh, there's our boy. He's back. If he's there in the winter, I'm gonna get straight up upset. Connor, everything looks spot on. Yeah. And there's a customer returning his cart to the cart corral. How thoughtful. Yes, very thoughtful. Instead of just leaving it willy nilly anywhere. Parking lot looks good. But one good. thing you need to know. Vlad fought in the crusade against oh, the God, Turks. We're still on Vlad. What did he do? Muslim Turks swarmed into Europe trying to take over Romania. Oh. I don't know if this is true, but Vlad struck down Mehmed II, the Sultan of Turkey. He mounted both him and the bodies of his soldiers on spikes. I don't remember the names of people I went to high school with. And you remember this stuff. They all agree. Although the stories of Dracula di differ on a few things, they all agree on one. Dracula wasn't a count. He was a prince. No, because he's known as Count Dracula. Yeah, he fought. Uh, he would have found Count insulting since he's Prince of Wallachia. Yeah, well, you are going out way too fast for my liking. Number one... I like to have a nice goodbye for me. Okay, goodbye, Ma. Um, thanks for driving me. Uh, oh, th thank always. you. Okay, okay. Um, always. Uh, okay. Uh, I forgot what I was. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a like and hit the subscribe. And as always, stay classy, USA. That was way too fast. Well, I need to get fast. Have a great Tuesday, everybody. Easing our way to a holiday weekend. Excited. Okay. At work by 6.59, I'm pulling out. So, adios, amigo, or I say, yeah.